Hi, my name is Brad Klipstein. I'm the Controls Product Specialist here at Okuma. Today, I have with me my colleague, Casey Crusoe. I'm a Principal Engineer for Software and Factory Automation Products here at Okuma. Today, we're here to talk to you about connectivity. We're going to be talking to you about how we actually connect our machines to your local network with our, our hardware and our software, MT Connect. We're going to talk about data collection and how you go about the process of actually physically connecting your machines uh, in your shop to that network. We're going to talk to you about what tags, what data is collected from those machines. And then we're going to talk about uh, an example that we have available for you for collecting that data and visualizing it on a dashboard. So this dashboard that you see behind me is called Connect Plan, and we'll get into uh, some of the details about that today. But first, let's talk about how you actually connect that machine to that network. So we're going to bring Casey over in the back of one of our machines and show you the process that we go through for physically connecting that machine to the network. Once you have run your Ethernet cables to the location of your machine, what you need to do is locate the LAN connector here. This is an environmentally protected pass-through connector. And just run your Ethernet cable through here. Okay, once you have run your Ethernet cable to the machine, it's really easy. Every machine includes an inline coupler here that will connect your network to the PC on the control. So locate that connect your cable and your demo. Thanks Casey, that was great. So now you see how easy it is to physically connect the machine to your network. We went in the back and just plugged in that ethernet cable, very quick and easy. Now we're on to actually uh, setting up the software on the actual machine using MT Connect and then setting our IP address right on the machine. So the first part of that, the MT Connect portion of that, that allows you to collect the information from the machine and then put it into a format that's man readable to some kind of dashboard system. That's great because MT Connect is standard on every machine that we offer. That comes pre-installed straight from the factory. So it's nothing that you have to download or install or worry about. All you have to do is activate it. The second part of that is setting the actual IP address. So that is pretty quick and easy to do as well. So I'm gonna have Casey explain uh, how you actually go about doing that. Casey? Yeah, uh, nothing special here. It's a Windows computer. You set the IP address the same way that you would on a desktop computer. So when you're using MT Connect, you're almost always going to be using a fixed IP address that your IT department has determined or your OT department. Set it here, set the subnet mask in the gateway and that's all you need to do. Great. So along with your IT group, you know, they're going to give you those numbers, the, the IP address, the subnet, the gateway, if you need all of that to set that properly at the machine, right? That's correct. Awesome. And now that next part about MT Connect, how would you go about setting that up so on the machine? It's already installed and running from the factory. It's not actually collecting data or transmitting data until you make a couple of configuration changes. So bring up the MT Connect adapter and the first thing you need to do you're going to you're going to go to the configuration tab and check enable monitoring tags at that point the adapter will respond to requests and provide data so what are a couple of those tags what is this information that we're actually pulling from the machine so it's productivity data um, and machine status it'll tell you the current alarm, it'll tell you whether a machine is running, program name, part count, things like that. So tooling information, what tool I'm running, what yes. that offset is, what the wear of that tool would be. Correct. Great. That's awesome, Casey. All right. Thank you for that. So next, we'd like to show you uh, an example of some dashboard software to actually collect this information. So now we've got it physically connected to your network. We're all set with the software side of this. Now we're actually going to show you an example of uh, pulling that uh, information from the machine and then taking it to a dashboard to view this information because you wouldn't just want to view these tags as, as these types of files, right? Right, that would be almost meaningless. Right, not man readable. So let's show you some software that you can use to view this information in a productive manner. Now we're going to show you an example of Okuma's monitoring software called 
connect plan. So that's what you see here in the screen behind myself and Casey. We've actually physically connected all of the machines here at our Partners in Think facility to this dashboard software. So what you're seeing is all of our machines connected to this system and pulling data, okay? And it's a really nice uh, system and dashboard to use. It's very interactive, intuitive, and it contains a ton of useful information about all the machines across your shop floor. So productivity, uh, maintenance items, alarm status, operation history are all things that are visualized here in this dashboard software. Um, Casey, could you tell us if there's any limit to the number of users that can access this information? No, so there's there's no limit to the number of users. Once, once the product is running on your network, it's accessed through a browser. So as many PCs as necessary can connect to it. So you're saying I can just access that anywhere yes. right from my phone? Yep, right? that's correct. You can get it on your phone and uh, your desktop PC in your office, anything like that. That's great. Is there any limitation to the, the types of machines or devices that you can connect to this software? Not really. So the Okumas are especially easy to connect because obviously we designed both ends of that. Right. But we can connect to other, other OEM's machines that's great, that's great. So it, it looks great uh, just here on the screen, but could you maybe walk us through some of the, the features that are included in this Connect Plan software? Sure, we can do that. So you start off with a factory overview. So you know this, this is intended to look really good and give you an instant heads up display of what your machines are doing. Then we have various means of dash, dashboarding the data. And part of the intent behind Connect Plan is that it's simple. It's easy, dis easy to read displays uh, that don't take a, a lot of training for your users. <clears throat> we can see machine status over time. So that's green, yellow, red, uh, the operating percentage or the, the amount of time that that machine is actually in production. Exactly correct. The operating history, another way of displaying the data. Okay, so what are we seeing here? We can see basically why a machine is down or what could potentially be the reason that machine is, is not producing parts? That's correct. You can see the, the downtime reasons here. Oh, that, that's great. And it's charted over time. <clears throat> and on this screen, it's basically the same data, the downtime reasons, but it's charted as a percentage of a 24 hour period as opposed to individual sure. number of minutes. So, so we could see the data of what's going on today on the shop floor, or I see you know a little calendar up there for displaying the, the time and the date. We can go back in history and see what we have uh, run last week, last month. Sure. Uh, basically, uh, you know, unlimited. That, yeah, that's correct. Yep. For as long as you have been recording the data, you can go back and look. That's great. And then I see maintenance up there. Can you uh, talk a little bit about what that is? Sure. The Especially for the Okumas, we have an interface to the onboard maintenance recording system. And we can see when maintenance items are coming due. And it's, it's, it's color-coded, so if you see that a maintenance item is in yellow, it means you're within about 25% of the allowed, allowed time and you're going to need to go perform that maintenance item and you can program these on the machine and then you can see all of them here on connect plan so you could say that this is taking the steps to to implement some type of predictive or preventative maintenance system uh, with the tools that, that you already have on the shop floor it's just pulling that information straight from uh, the OSP control. Sure, it, it definitely can tell you when you're going to need to perform any form of uh, preventive maintenance. Thanks for your time today. Great job, Casey. Really appreciate you uh, walking us through the entire process of connecting the machines here on the floor. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate it. Yeah, and thank you for watching today. Thanks for joining us. And if there's any questions that you uh, may have about something that we didn't cover, please feel free to ask away. Thanks for your time. <laughs>